Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my favorite false lashes. Now you guys have been requesting for me to do a video like this for the longest time. I get so many requests for this video, but honestly, I have been putting it off just because first, I don't have a lot of lashes that I like. I usually just use like these four styles that I use all the time in rotation depending on the eye look. And then second, I'm not the best person with lashes. I'm not the best person with applying them on. I haven't tried that many styles and brands of lashes and also I don't like my lashes. Um, they're very stubborn. They're very short. I have a fear of curling my lashes. I'm not a big fan of mascara. So just the whole lash department. I, I love wearing false lashes but I'm not the best person at it. You know what I mean? So I've been putting it off but you guys more recently have been requesting for this so much. So I thought I would just, you know, finally sit down and just talk about my favorite lashes because honestly Honestly, they're probably not going to change for a very very long time so if you had any questions about my false lashes and the lashes that I like the most I'm gonna talk about it today I'm also gonna give you a demo on how I apply my lashes I don't know how helpful that it would be because like I said I'm not the best person at it I'm also gonna show you how I like to reuse my lashes how I keep them clean and just how I make them last as long as they do so yeah this whole video is just gonna be all about lashes I've kind of started like a top 10 series on my channel. This is kind of part of it, but it's not top 10. It's more like top 5. But anyway, if you guys are interested in hearing about my favorite lashes, then just continue watching. Okay, so I only have 5 lashes here to share with you guys. 4 of them being like my all-time favorites, and the last one is just kind of like an honorable mention. But my favorite lash brand ever is House of Lashes. They are literally the only lash brand that I use. First, they are affordable in my opinion for how long they last me and also they are cruelty free and just the whole aesthetic the vibe the styles of house of lashes i personally love and what i love about house of lashes is that they have their own like original lash line but they also have like a light collection so all the lashes that i'm going to share with you guys are from their lights collection by the way this video is not sponsored but like i mean if it was that would be cool too so first i'm going to share with you my all-time favorite lash and i've talked about this so many times now but my favorite lash of all time Time, and it's the lash that I'm wearing right now. It is the House of Lashes Bedore Lights. Yes, I have four pairs that I'm holding out. These are actually all brand new. These are my backups. So I have four backups of Bedore Lights. That's just how serious it is. I have two on hand that's like in rotation. It's the lash that I'm wearing right now. These lashes are just the lash that I think go with every single eye look it just makes my eyes look so damn good it makes your lashes look so full all around it's almost the same length but in the center it's a little bit like just a teeny weeny bit longer and it just makes your eyes look a little bit more almond whenever i'm wearing like a dark intense smoky eye um this is a lash that i will go to i really really do like the light collection a lot more than the original i feel like for the original the lash band is a little bit too thick and because my eyes are so like rounded it's hard to get the edges to stick down but with the light collection the band is a lot thinner and a little bit more flexible and it's easier to control so I really like the light collection obviously I do cut them down a lot I like these lash the most on my eye shape and it's the lash that I wear the most depending on the eye look if I'm gonna go traveling I will only bring the door lights with me like these are just like my favorite also with the light collections you can get them in a bundle where you save money so if you buy three lash I think it's like $30 and you save like $6 I mean $6 is still a lot of money to me and for my second place lash is the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes. I feel like Iconic Lights is the most popular lash from House of Lashes. The original Iconic is probably a little bit more popular but again, just the original one, the band is a lot thicker. It's harder for me to get them stuck onto my lash line. So I do have one backup of this and you know when you have a backup of a lash, you know it's that good. For the Iconic Lights, these are like literally the most perfect cat eyelash. They are a lot longer at the ends and shorter in the front. So if you want to like elongate your eye shape, these are the lashes to do it. Usually when I wear Iconic Lights is when I do like a half cut crease where I want the lash in the front to be shorter. That way you can actually see the half cut crease and then you can elongate 
the outer corner. This one is a lot longer though, like compared to Bordeaux guys, these are extremely long. And I also want to mention to you guys, like these are my everyday lash. I remember when I first started wearing lashes, if I were to wear these, like these would be just so dramatic. So I'm really recommending these lashes to someone that wears lashes on the kind of everyday basis. If you never wore lashes before, you're going to think these are the most dramatic lashes that you've ever worn. I personally feel like false lashes in the beginning, they are very intense and you're not used to it. But once you wear them every day, it's kind of like you look so naked without it. You know what I mean? So it's definitely like once you get started on fake lashes, like you cannot go back. Like especially on smaller Asian eyes, I feel like these kind of lashes are a little bit easier to pull off. I feel like Asian eyes, we can get away with fuller lashes just because our eyes are a little bit smaller. I'm just used to seeing these kind of lashes on me and I think everybody else is used to seeing that on me as well. So it kind of just seems like it's a normal duty thing to wear, you know? Anyway, Iconic Lights are my go-to lashes to make my eye shape look a little bit elongated, more cat-eyed, and especially when I wear half-cut creases. These are the lashes you will see me wear. My number three spot will go to the Demure Lights from House of Lashes. It really does remind me of the Bador Lights, but for me, this is a little bit more straight. It's not as like wispy and crisscross, and it's a lot shorter. So out of all my House of Lashes lash, this is the shortest pair. This is the most natural pair. It still gives you a lot of length, but it's the most shortest out of all of them. And for my last lash that I love from House of Lashes is the Natalia Light. This one is like kind of in between an iconic and a bedore light. This was the only lash that I wore to my most recent Japan trip. I actually thought I packed my bedore lights, but I actually packed this one instead and it was my first time wearing it and I actually really liked it. This one's a little bit more wispy, a little bit more like airy, like there's a little bit more spacing between the lash. I really like the wispiness of it. Really, really great as well. So these are just the four lashes that I have been wearing for. I would say like the past two years, I haven't switched to another brand. I've tried a couple here and there, but honestly, I will always go back to House of Lashes. I think their styles are just great and especially the light collection. But like I mentioned in the intro of the video, I did have like a number five honorable mention. If you guys think these lashes are too dramatic and you want like a natural lash recommendation, I would say the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are a lot shorter than the House of Lashes. They still make your lashes look fuller. This also has has a clear lash band. All of the House of Lashes ones that I recommended have a black band. I personally like black bands. They are a lot easier to camouflage into the lash line, but it's just up to you. I thought I would mention it. Speaking of clear lash bands, if you do want more natural lashes, Shannon XO, her beauty line, XO Beauty. I used to wear her lashes quite often. If you like those clear lash bands, you probably will like her lashes. A lot of her lashes are long and they have a clear lash band. They are very, I would say, sparse in a way. They're not very full and luscious like the House of Lashes. I just want to quickly mention, I'm going to mention it in the demo, but I thought I would just quickly speak about the lash glue that I use. I use the Dew brush on adhesive one. It's the one in the green packaging. I don't like this squeezy tube for many reasons. First, it smells so bad and second, I don't like squeezing it on the back of my hand, putting my lash in it. It's just, yeah, it's not convenient. I don't like squeezy tubes. This one's a lot more easier to use and it works wonders. House of Lashes does have a great lash glue as well, but I mentioned it later on that I got an allergic reaction to it and it made my lash line swell up. Also, House of Lashes lash glue is very, very hard to take off. Like, it takes days to get off. This one, when you take your makeup off, it comes off with it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Those were my favorite styles. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. And now let's move on to the little demo and how I I maintain my full lashes. Okay, so now moving on to the demo portion. So I will always just line my upper lash line. You can make it thinner, thicker, but just for this eye look, this is what I've done. Whether I'm creating a wing or not, I will just always line my upper lash line. And I like to use the Inglot AMC gel liner. And I also like to tight line as well. Tight lining is super, super important for eyeliner and lashes. It just covers up the skin. It doesn't look as natural. You just want your lash line to be completely black and dark. I also use the gel liner to tight line as well. So with that being said, I am now going to apply some lash glue to my lashes. I am going to be wearing the Bedouin Lights from House of Lashes today. For my lash glue, I am using the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. It's the green one. It's the one with the brush tip. I've used the House of Lashes one 
before and that one is really really good like the staying power is amazing but i had like an allergic reaction to that i don't think i'm allergic to anything but i was allergic to that lash glue it made my whole lash line swell up and i don't think i'm the only person that got an allergic reaction to that lash glue i think luster lux katie she had the same problem so what i pretty much did is just applied a very thin layer on the lash band and you can see the lash glue it is clear and it's kind of like a light blue so i'm gonna let it get tacky and just let it kind of dry up a little bit and that's when you want to apply it you don't want to apply it right away when it's like this kind of color i'll show you guys the color that it turns when i feel like it's ready to be applied so while that is you know doing its thing i'm now going to curl my lashes honestly whether i curl my lashes or not it does not really make too much of a difference because i don't have lashes that's why it's so important for me to tight line and line my lash line but i'm gonna curl my lashes with this lash curler i believe i got this in japan like two years ago. It just says chastity on the back. I don't know if that's the brand. I am so scared to curl my lashes. I cannot curl the inner corner. I want to get a new lash curler. Like this one is good, but I've heard of other good ones. Like Sophia Chang just recommended one in her latest video. And then I will apply some mascara. I'm actually going to be using the new ColourPop one today. It's my first time using it today. This one is the shade Black on Black. Usually I use my Too Faced one. The brush on these look very, very similar. So I have a feeling I'm gonna like it because the Too Faced one is my favorite. This is not supposed to be a ColourPop mascara review, but here we are. I'm just gonna coat my lashes with this. Ooh, this is nice. So at this point, my lash glue is pretty much dried. It will turn kind of like a darker blue. I'm gonna look down into my mirror, just pop it on as close as to the lash line as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna close my eye and just push it in. So now I'm just grabbing this tool. I got it off eBay years and years ago. Again, it's there's no brand. It says Koji on it, but I don't know if that's the brand. It's just off eBay, you know, you can just type in small lash curler but this is what I use to kind of clump my lashes and my false lashes together I mean it doesn't work like a hundred percent but for the most part I would say it works like 70% because the mascara is still a little bit wet and tacky it's really gonna stick to the false lashes you know when I look to the side you don't see them like sticking straight out I mean some of them still do but what can I do? I don't know how to curl my lashes. Also with lashes, it's honestly just practice. Because the way I put my lash on this eye, I actually use my finger and my tweezer and I have to use this mirror here. I gotta use two hands, but with this eye, I can pop it on with one hand. And then lastly, I'll just go back in to my Inglot gel liner. I will take this little thin brush here. It is just a paintbrush. And I will use this to go over my lash line. If there's any lash glue peeping out, I just like to go over it once again. If you are using new lash, Lashes, obviously you want to snip them and you want to make sure you snip them from the outer edge not from the inner corner keep that in mind but obviously I've been wearing these pair of lashes for ages that they are already fit to my eye shape I also think the older the lash the easier it is to apply on if you are applying a new lash I think the first time you apply it, it's gonna be the hardest because first you need to measure it and the lash band it's a little bit stiff but the more you use a lash the better it gets in my opinion just keep that in mind like don't be so disappointed discouraged if on the first try if you don't get it right usually the lash band does take like maybe a couple times of wear to be like very very comfortable and that is it okay so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys how i clean my lashes i usually would do this after like second to third wear of the lash it really depends on how much gunk is in the lash these are the noir fairy lash from house of lashes i don't wear these one very often. These are the Noir Fairy Lights, sorry. I've worn them a couple times and there's a little bit of gunk here, but these are honestly my only dirty lashes. I'll just show you briefly what I do so you get the general idea. A little bit of glue and gunk that's just stuck to the lash line, so I'm just gonna take my tweezer and just kind of pull at the edge. You don't want to pull too hard because sometimes you can rip off the lash. So make sure you're just mainly getting the glue. Look at my tweezer. Look at all that black stuff. Hang on. Do you see all of that? This is all eyelash glue, okay? 
I just took that all off. The lash band is pretty much like brand new. What I also like to do, I would take like a masala water. Any that you have does not matter. Or maybe it does matter. I don't know. Maybe don't use an oil based one. I'm just going to put some on my cotton, but ugh. I am going to just kind of clean up the lash a little bit. This one is pretty clean. I don't use this one as often, but I'm just going to kind of twirl it around the lash. Go along with the curl of the lash. Like a lash that I've worn like this. Hang on. Can you see me? Like my Bador lights. I've worn them so many times. I always mesh them in with my real lashes that have mascara on. Sometimes I like to go in with further mascara. And when you do that, um, the mascara can get onto the lash. It can kind of lose its style because some of the lashes will like get stuck together. So if you just take a micellar water and just kind of clean it through. You can see this one's a little bit dirty, but honestly not as dirty as my other lash. And then you can just feel the lash feels literally brand new. So I'm just going to show you guys on this one a close-up. I should have done this shot like this close-up in the first time. But you know, hey, we're here now. So I just want to tell you guys again, like be very careful. Make sure you're just picking at the glue and you're not picking at the actual lash band. Because before when I first started doing this and when I wasn't as experienced, I would pick the actual lash out and the whole lash line will fall apart and all the lashes would come off. But yeah, that's how I keep them brand new. Alright guys, so this is going to conclude my video for today. Hopefully you guys found it helpful and it was worth the wait. If you guys did find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for requesting this video and also thank you for watching as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!